good morning to all welcome back again in the discussion on socialism in europe and russian revolution so we continue our discussion on socialism in russia mainly the socialist activities and the ideologies developed through the political parties but the political parties were illegal in russia before 1914 but the social democratic workers party that was formed in 1891 even though it is a uh, illegal activities they mobilized the people through their writings and newspapers and through so on so we can we see 1900 the socialist revolutionary party also very prominent among the workers so these parties struggled for peasants uh, rights and to demanded the land belonging to nobles to be transferred to the peasants and for them the people there uh, we see these two parties the parties were mainly struggling for the peasants rights but we see in the development in, in later the uh, social democrats and the social revolutionaries were in truck because of their ideological differences lenin who was in the forefront of this um, socialism in russia He is asking for the people to identify these um, peasants and their structures. Especially the old peasants are not same because some are doing as a laborers or workers. Some others are like the uh, the capitalists who produce the work, and so the, all these people come under the same category cannot be considered. So it is to be much more indifferent. So that is that truck was very prevalent. and they started the different differentiation their party so the lenin the party should be disciplined and it should be controlled and number and the quality of members and those who follow these people there will be a bolshevik group it will be discussed later and the mensheviks the party should be open to all that it was as it is in the germany so it is considered to be mensheviks the party was divided over the strategy of its organization so the turbulent time which is in 1905 that is the revolutionary time we see uh, the russian russia was uh, as we see russia was it is an autocracy uh, the tsar was not subject to the parliament so it was a main problem that uh, the people found they, the tsar was not under the subject to the parliament so the demand of constitution the liberals social democrats socialist revolutionaries and they all worked with this peasants uh, peasants against the for the demand of uh, the constitution so the, when the constitution comes to take place then all the activities of a particular land moves with this particular constitution so it was a demand of the time 